Hey guys, just wanted to make a video kind of showcasing my SCX24 build that I recently did. I'm gonna go over the parts that I used. Uh, I'll tell you my thoughts on the kit, and then if you want to build your own, I'll tell you how much I spent on the parts uh, at the very end, and some uh, my thoughts on the uh, overall kit and the parts that I used. So. This chassis is based off of a Little Guy Racing Parts Ripper Kit. It is a direct replica of the Jeep LJ. So it's a long wheel based TJ Wrangler, uh, which is two generations before the newest, the JT and the JLU. Um, now for the parts that I went with, we'll just do front to back. So um, I went with the Little Guy Racing Parts Ripper Kit. Uh, this kit's actually pretty nice. It's fully 3D printed. And this is not like any of the cheap 3D printed stuff. Um, there are some parts that I did break on it. Uh, I fixed it, but overall the the quality of the material on this kit is really nice. Um, it does not utilize, I don't know if you can see this, it's probably a little bit too bright, but right here in the, it, it utilizes an actual frame. It's not, it's not like an SCX24 where it has frame rails and you kind of bolt on the skid plate and like the ESC tray and it all goes together. This is an actual, it looks like an actual frame, which is pretty nice because it addresses a lot of the shortcomings of the Axio SCX24 line. Um, it has stability issues and it's top heavy. So what this does is it plants all the weight down low and you can move your shocks up higher so you get lower center of gravity. Uh, front to back, so the axles I went with, I don't know if you can see these, I went with the Super 8s. So these are the billet Super 8s. I went with uh, all brass, so brass knuckles, brass uh, steering linkage. And the servo I'm using is a Emax. Uh, even with all the weight in the front, uh, the Emax has been quite doing quite well. And I really, really no complaints so that it's actually performing very well, uh, despite it being a quote unquote cheap servo. So the wheels and tires I'm using, I'm using the Enjora uh, brass beadlocks. These are extremely heavy. These are 47 grams a piece. Yes, 47 grams per wheel. And the tires I'm using, um, I'm using the Blue Guy Racing Parts Grippers. These are probably the softest tires I've ever used on any single rig. Um, for a while, I was running the uh, Milestar Patagonias. I praised the wheel so much, or the, I praised those tires so much. They had the absolute best grip out of any tire that I've used, and I've used tons of tires on my Kyosho, but these, these by far are the most grip. Out of any tires I've used. They're extremely soft. And what I did was I took a foam from a smaller tire and I put it in here so it kind of it replicates a tire that's kind of aired down. Um, next is my suspension. I'm using the Little Guy Racing Parts uh, high clearance billet links. Uh, the ones that come with the kit there or they were 3d printed but i'm getting or i guess they now just started putting the belt links in there and the shocks that i'm using are the injora uh they're the 38 or 39 millimeter i believe they're the oil shocks these are relatively new i had them on my kyosha so i just kind of stole it off of them before that i was running the hot racing long travel oil shocks and i wasn't happy with their performance uh, there wasn't a lot of dampening but these ones are probably the best performing chocks that I have uh, laying around. I don't like running long travel double barrel stuff just because you need limiting straps and it, it, it doesn't make it doesn't make the vehicle behave uh, the way I want. Um, and it, it just kind of looks funny when it's articulating. Um, uh, the power plant that I'm using inside I mean, oh, and by the way, the um, the front axle is overdrived. I think it's a 13 or 12 tooth, um, but I do have overdrive in the front. Now, the the powertrain that I'm using in this, I am using a Furitech uh, Mini Komodo. Um, and if you want to run this build, please understand that that is the biggest motor that you can use in this. Uh, you could probably get away with using a Mofo SMP. I think they're 
about the same size. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But the um, the Mini Komodo, uh, without if you want to fit the full size, you're going to have to do a little bit of cutting of some of the parts. And I didn't want to do that, so I went with the uh, Mini Komodo. And it has plenty of power. Um, the Micro Komodo would do quite well in this too. The chassis is quite light and it, they both have comparable power for if you want to just do crawling. But if you want to do like kind of like a, like a basher or rock bouncer, uh, I think either would be quite fine. Um, I'm using a Fury Tech transmission and the drive shafts I'm, the drive shafts I'm using, they are Trill uh, stainless steel, uh, front and rear. And I had to mix and match uh, C10 and Deadbolt um, drive shafts. I had to mix and match the, the output and the input shafts for those. So if you want to you do aftermarket drive shafts, because the drive shafts that come with this kit are all 3D printed, uh, I would suggest going with metal. And if, um, if you want to go brushless, please use Metal Gears. Um, and the ESC I'm using is a Fury Tech uh, Lizard Pro. I don't think, if you're going to do rock crawling on this, I don't think you really need, I don't think you really need 3S. Uh, if you want speed, then yeah, of course, uh, do 3S. But yeah, these are, th these are just 2S batteries I'm using. And if you've seen me on Instagram, I posted this uh, along with my real TJ. I, the, the color I went with is like a, the the Jeep is it's Patriot blue. So I tried my best to replicate it. I'm not sure if you can see the color in this light, um, but what I really wanted to do with mine is I wanted to put uh, metal cloak over fenders. So that's why the fenders. Uh, rock guards and the rear overs are all black same with the cage i think the um the metal cloak look just looks pretty cool um oh and i did have a mishap with this fender i'm not sure if you can see that i had to epoxy that to get it to uh to get to go back together because i did shatter it on the rocks and i'm going to email them uh kind of telling uh what happened because i want to i, I want to try and get some extra fenders for this um, my thoughts on the kit, extremely, extremely, extremely well, um, well manufactured. The engineering on this is, is really cool. Um, I like how they utilize an actual frame and it's not just your SCX frame rails. Um, like I said, this kit addresses a lot of the shortcomings with the axial. You have a longer wheelbase, so longer wheelbase than the deadbolt, uh, front and rear. And what, um, since this kit was based around the Super 8 axles, it's extremely, extremely planted. Uh, it's really wide, like I said, long wheelbase, so it makes it crawling extremely easier. There's, there's not a lot that this cannot do. Um, and I'm not even, I don't even think I've hit the limit of this yet. Uh, I'm, I'm always running this on rocks. You've probably seen if you follow my Instagram. Um, and, and this is just a lot of fun. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, the paint could be better. This is my first time, and I really couldn't um, get the paint how I wanted. But you know, it happens. So, oh, and the receiver or transmitter I'm using is a uh, FlySky GD5. So you will be able to use a FlySky uh, with this ESC uh, receiver, uh, and it works quite well. So. My general thoughts on this, like I said, it's it's very well put together. Um, it takes maybe less than three hours of work to put it all together. Really nice kit. And I, I there was no expense spared with this build um, at all. I put any, the, the best stuff you could get, I put it on this and it, it may have ruined it for myself uh, just because I can't upgrade it anymore but it is so much fun I love I love these little scale um, RC uh, vehicles they're so much fun you can just pick them up and just go wherever you can find a pile of rocks and just have fun and 
that's pretty much my thought of my pretty much my thoughts about this kit um, these are really hard to come by these sold out very fast and it's really hard to get get a hold of the parts um, just because of they're just like a small little company and they kind of do I think they do this on the side the guys who own this they also race uh, ultra four stuff so that they, um, they also have a kit based on the ultra four ultra 24 it's pretty cool so with that said um, I still have some stuff I want to do this like scale stuff I want to put a windshield in the front I'm planning on doing FPV uh, action cam inside the inside the truck I don't know how I'm going to do that because I'm not running the interior in this. So I have all of my electronics, my battery, my ESC, my um, receivers in there. Uh, but I'll find a way. I kind of want to do like a soft top or like a hard top in the back and put some lights in it. Now, if you want to build something exactly like my rig, the, like I said, these are the best available parts that you can get for this. I spent in total maybe around $700, 700, 800, give or take. Um, so take that with, take that as you will. Um, I don't run the big, the big 110 scales or the six scales or anything. I really, really like the micro stuff uh, just cause I can just mess around with it easier. So if you want to build something like this, it's around that price range. Um, and I think you could definitely do this budget. One thing I will recommend, um, if you do want to do this on a budget with, with just the chassis kit itself, definitely get the super eight axles. Definitely get the, definitely get the super eight axles. Um, to some, it might look a little funky just because of how wide they are, but these definitely these definitely do perform well with the wider axles um, but like I said you can build it how you want um, it's just that's what I want to do I want something extremely capable uh, and it, it can do anything you throw at it and then some uh, like I said I'm still still testing the limits of this a lot I want to take this out to competitions um, but where I am I'm not sure where they are so I'll just have to go find them and um, yeah, I might build another one. I'm thinking about building a uh, Ultra 24 or just another SEX in general. I do have quite a few extra parts laying around that I have um, to build another one. Um, but yeah, this build was a lot of fun. Um, if you guys have one, let me know what you did to it. yeah just just let me know what you did to it tell me what parts tell me what parts you think i should get um, i'm always looking for like new stuff to mess around and tinker with so yeah um thanks for watching and uh, if you don't follow me on instagram it, my handle is kyosho on the rocks i know i have this axial but i first started out with the kyosho and i i really love that little rig but unfortunately i maxed out his performance so a new chapter of my uh, crawling has started with this build and maybe perhaps a couple builds in the future um, but Yeah uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said check out my Instagram if you haven't uh, Kills you on the rocks And yeah, thank you